Hey everyone, in this lesson we will talk about the mouse commands in AutoCAD. So we would like to learn how to use our mouse and uh, its benefits in AutoCAD program. Okay, and how to select uh, different ways to select uh, elements inside AutoCAD. Okay, so the first step, as you can see, I had this large drawing. Okay, so if I would like to zoom in like this and zoom out like this, you see inside the mouse we have the roll, right? The roll that is used to zoom in and zoom out. Using this roll inside the mouse itself, we will be able to zoom in and out. That's the first thing. Second thing here is that we can we can also use use uh, the role of the mouse in order to uh, move through and uh, through a drawing. Okay, so how can we move through a drawing? Simply click on the uh, roll and keep clicking and the drag. So I click like this, long click like this you will see this hand tool. By moving like this my own mouse, I will be able to move through the image. So I can go like this, go like this, like this, you can see. So I move, I click for a long time until the hand appears, then I drag using the mouse, drag like this. Okay. That is the second thing that we can do. So we have zoom in and out, and we have the drag tool. The third thing that we have, let's say you can see in this figure, we have uh, a line, circle, rectangle, we have a group of rectangles here and another thing. Let's say I zoomed out like this, crazy like this, and went way, way far like this, okay? So if I want to go to the circle where is the circle did i draw i don't know where are the rectangles i don't know so what i'm going to do how can i get back to the drawing uh, the circles lines and rectangles how can i get back to them in order to do this all you have to do is double click on roll so if you double click on the roll you remember this drag now double click like this you can see everything back. You can see the screen now contains all of the elements that we have drawn, like this. Okay. Now another way, like this. Okay. Now we learn it. Roll in order to zoom in and out. Drag and uh, in order to uh, get back or extend or get back to our original drawing the same three three functions we can do them using this tools you can see ban or hand tool like this you can like this very easy right if you would like to return back to mouse simply click on escape on the keyboard like this so we have our tool again another way is that you can zoom extends what is the benefit of this it is used to get back to this. Remember the double click on, uh, on the roll to get back to all of the drawing. The same idea. Click one click here. Hey, everything is back in one screen like this. Okay, great. And another way you can click on this one. You can see zoom extends. You can zoom in and out like this. Click and click. Okay, so you can zoom in and zoom in and out using this instead of the uh, roll uh, inside the mouse. Okay, great. Now that is the first part of this lesson on how, what are the different usages of the mouse, and we have seen that I can use these tools in order to do the same functions. Great. Now second thing that we would like to learn is that the selection. So how can I select components? The first and very basic method is to click on any shape. So we have, you can see, it starts to becoming more light or giving more light, you can see. Okay, so click on it. You have selected this rectangle. You can click on this one. 
select it to click like this you selected it okay now click on skip to cancel the selection like this great now what else um there are two ways to select using the mouse how can i select you can select using like this for click one click like this and drag like this okay and click like this you have selected the figures another way you can click like this and you will have it like this okay so what someone will ask me what the difference between the green rectangle and the blue rectangle so if i click and go to from right to left like this you have green rectangle if you go from left to right you will have blue rectangle so what's the difference okay the difference is that if you use the green one just by touching a small part of rectangle or any figure just by touching it like this and click you have selected the figure however if you choose the blue one like this click and like this you can see it is not giving any light so if i click like this nothing happened why because in the blue rectangle you have to select the whole figure like this you can see when i selected the whole figure you can see it gives the light it means i can select it if so like this okay however if i just go part of it it will not be selected if it is the whole figure it will be selected okay so you can see if i do it like this you can see it will select what it will select only the line because this blue rectangle covers it all like this however if i use this one the uh, green one like this you will be able to select even if you just touch it okay that's the difference between this method and this method now how can i use something like this so if you go here you can see this figures group of rectangles if i would like to select just these lines you can just click on them like this or you can simply go like this and cover them like this you can see they are the only two that gives light so they have been selected if i would like to delete them click on delete on the keyboard like this you have deleted or erased the figures so you can click select like this and delete you can select a figure like this and delete okay great um, so we can delete all of this nice so that is how uh, you can use the mouse and how can you use it to in order to select different figures in the next lessons we will start talking about the drawing the drawings commands we will talk about the modification commands and uh, we will also talk about the uh, measurement and dimensions uh, commands uh, general commands and layers commands you can see these are drawing uh, commands uh, here we have a dimension for um, measurement we have uh, layers this part very important in uh, drawing you know, of the figures uh, we have general like the adding text to the figure we have some modification like uh, trimming the figure or uh, hatching it and etc so we will learn about this in the next lessons